younger man in the fight. Uh, says given Ortiz's age, his goal is to move him around and make him work. We're underway, round number one. Yeah, Ortiz is going to come out and he's going to establish his job straight away. He's just got so much experience. He knows what to do in these fights. Well, Ortiz is a very good boxer, but he also carries a lot of weight on those shots. He goes hard to the body with that left hand immediately. Boy, that first left hand looked really, really dangerous. And uh, it's just on his shoulders. I think it's coming up right here, right, Brian? Right about here, right well, to the body. It's not going to take long. And watch down there low if you can. Yeah. And now, hmm, it looked like he caught him, but no, I don't. That's it it the, didn't look like something that would cut him in half. No, that's the floating rib. That's the floating rib shot. Eight, oh, is that what you just named it? <laughs> I thought that was. I, that he, I, yeah. Wow, it is over already. Yeah, I think. 46 he, seconds and it's over. That's yeah, it. I think he did his knee or something yeah. like that. I don't know if it was a body shot or what, but uh, we're going to see in a second if, as he walks over to the, his corner. No, they put him down straight away. Still Ortiz don't know stepped in, and he went down. And I, Lennox, did you see? Did he buckle his knee after a punch or just buckle his arm? And watch. Here's the left that starts it. That, that got blocked. And he caught that with yeah. his glove. Yeah. And then we've... All right, we're going to take a closer look and try to see exactly. There's the... Is that the body shot there? But you got to remember, he got knocked out by Parker with a body shot. So this kind of falls into place, and it makes sense. 